Hey coaches, if you've been struggling with coming up with your social media posts that would actually engage your followers and convert them into paying client, then today we are going to talk about a very simple framework that you can use to create your next social media post to ensure that your followers are actually engaging. And this is something that's tried and proven by copywriters and content creator. It's a framework that's going to transform your messaging game. So stick around and plus at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a free social media content planner just for you. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I help female coaches to build a full-time coaching business by attracting paying clients. Today, I am going to show you a try and true method of crafting effective social media posts. Let's face it, sometimes you have every intention to sit down and to create that messaging to post on your social media. But by the time that you get to your desk, you sit down, you're drawing a blank and you have no idea of where to start. So let's get started. Okay, over the last five years in my own business, I've created tons of social media posts on a daily basis. And a lot of coaches who come back to me and say, Michelle, how did you come up with all these ideas? And how do you create those content that's engaging, that's interested? And sometimes it feels like you're in my head talking to me. Like I thought about this idea last week and here you are, you're talking about this week. And so how exactly are you doing this? And what is your secret in in creating highly engaging social media posts. So today I'm going to pull back my per curtain and I'm going to show you a very simple copywriting framework that I have learned that had helped my business. And so hopefully this week, you're going to stick to the commitment of actually showing up and build that visibility on your own platform. So exactly what is that secret framework that everybody, every content creator knows? Well, it comes down to really just three letters. And this is a framework that a lot of copywriter use, and you probably have heard this so many times, but how do you actually implement it and put it into your own coaching business practice? So I'm going to break it down today. So pay attention. If you're doing anything else, come back and I promise you by the end of this video, you're going to have that framework. And I will also include a social media content planner so that it will help you to actually stay consistent. So exactly what is this framework? So the framework actually involved three letters. It's P A S P as in Peter, A as in Apple, S as in Sam. So P A S, what do they stand for actually? So I gave you the acronym, what they are. So the P stands for problem. And you're going to hear this a lot in all the social media content creators, no matter who's teaching you and which social media guru or marketing guru is teaching you. Essentially, it comes down to be able to identify the problem that your avatar, your dream client or your audience is facing. So what is that problem that a lot of your audience would be experiencing? If you're in the mindset coaching space, it could be, I need to build a routine. I need to set my goal. I need to create more revenue for my business. So th what exactly is that problem that you're trying to help them to solve? And now, just to be fair, there are a lot of different problems that you can solve. So the, essentially, it comes down to you have 365 days, identify one problem and focus on that one problem only for that particular day. What does A stand for? A stands for the agitation, which is the emotion and the frustration and the lack of enthusiastic and motivation to actually fixing and reaching to that problem. So let's say your avatar, your dream client is experiencing some motivation to build a new habit. What would be the uncomfortable, the frustration? things about having to build that habit. It could be I'm waking up and sometimes I just don't feel motivated and I rather do something else or couch surfing. And that would seem to be killing my time versus actually get up and doing things. And so if you can identify the frustration and the pain and the struggles that not being able to build a new habit or not being able to stick to what they want to do, 
in terms of that year, that setting goal, then you, my friend, is on the path to a successful and engaging social media content. So what does it say, S stand for? S stands for the solution that you can help your clients achieve. So if you are someone who use smart goal to help your client identify a goal and getting them to accomplish and get to the finish line, then your solution might be, how do I set up the goal so that I can feel motivated, that actually tangible and something that's doable for me? So how do you teach your clients using that SMART goal tool? And that would be potentially your solution that you can offer, whether it's your coaching a service or tip or resources that your audience can download. These are great examples of solutions that you can offer. Now, <laughs> just to be clear, like I said, you might have identified tons of different problems for your avatar and what they're experiencing, but I want you to just stick to one and focus on one particular problem that they're experiencing right now during this time of the season. We're at the mid year and they're trying to get to the finish line. So what is that one problem or a couple of different problems for that entire week? And remember, you have 365 days, so you can pick a different problem every single day to create a social media post that would engage in, that would walk your clients from the start to the finish, and that would actually uh, allow you to convert them into leads, which will turn into a paying client. Okay, once you understand this PAS framework, what do you do with it? So I gave you some example of the breakdown in terms of what goes into the PAS. So to remind you, a problem would be, for example, for this particular framework, this particular video, the problem would be, is your social media post getting lost into the noise, right? So that would be a problem a lot of coaches are experiencing. And so that is the topic I'm going to focus on. And the agitation would be some you spend all the time and you have every intention of wanting to sit down, but it just frustrates by the time that you actually get to sit down, you're drawing a blank or you're in this brain fog where you have no idea of where to start and how to begin. So the agitation would be, well, it feels like no one is listening, even if you spend all your hours and time to actually sit down and writing that post. So what are the solutions? So the solution would be following a framework, a proven framework that simply walk you through the path of how do you create that messaging. Okay, so with that said, I do want you to put this into practice. So what you're going to do is you're gonna spend time this week to craft your own post. Now, like I said, you have 365 days. So this week, I want you to identify one particular problem that your avatar, your dream client is having trouble with. We're looking at the half year mark now. So a lot of us who have set goals in January, by now it's like, well, did I get it done? If not, then where I'm going with this? So maybe it's a time to reset for your clients and including yourself. This would be a great time to sit down, whether you are creating new goals and new vision for the rest of the year, or you're actually reviewing what you have accomplished over the last six months, now would be a good time to think about that, right? So here's what I want you to do. What you're going to do is you are going to identify that one problem that resonate with your audience during this time of the year. And what you're going to highlight is you're going to map out the PAS. So the problem, the agitation and the solution, what do you suggest that they can be done or what they should be doing moving forward that is something that's actionable. So your action step is to create your own post this week. And I would love for you to drop it into the comment. What is the PAS that you're going to create? So what is the problem? What is the agitation? And what is your solution that you're suggesting to do? I want you to drop it into the comment. Let's share the resources. Let's get the conversation going. And I would love to hear if you have any other marketing strategies and, and ideas that you may have so that we can get more clients and create that full-time coaching business that we can wake up to and feeling inspired and love. All right, so if you're ready to take action and change your social media game to the next level, I do have a free 
social media content planner. You can use it. Use a link down in the description box below. It contains a social media framework that's going to help you to map out the social media content so that you can create consistently engaging posts that will translate your followers into paying client. And don't forget while you're here to hit that like and subscribe so that you don't miss out my next videos. Remember, there's a lot of things that we do in marketing that has a formula that has a proven strategy that you don't have to start from scratch. For example, using this PAS framework, it's going to help you to map out and to have that clear understanding of exactly what do I want to talk about, what would be my call to action, and what would make my post more engaging that would actually be more relatable, that would drive the traffic to more uh, paying clients. The bottom line is you don't have to start from scratch. So you got this. I will see you next time.